And a fake image posted on Twitter has pushed Australia-China relations to a new low. Australia wants an apology after a government official in Beijing posted a graphic photo manipulated to represent an Australian soldier killing a child in Afghanistan. But China has refused to back down. And for a closer look, we are joined now by Dr. Pradeep Taneja at the University of Melbourne. So, Dr. Taneja, a new low in an already tense relationship. Firstly, are you surprised by this tweet from, chi from China's side? And uh, what exactly is your objective here in sending out this tweet? I'm, I'm really surprised by this tweet. I mean, not that uh, Mr. Charlie Chen, who has tweeted this picture, um, I mean, he's known for taking a very aggressive approach in diplomatic relations. When he was a Chinese diplomat in Beijing, that's where he really honed in his skills at the more aggressive diplomacy. But I think there have been better times. I mean, this is, a, this is definitely a new law in the bilateral relationship between Australia and China. There have been better times. Don't forget that Australia is one of the few countries which has not once but twice invited the leader of the Chinese Communist Party to address the Australian parliament. Both President Xi Jinping and his predecessor, Hu Jintao, have addressed the parliament of Australia, which is very unusual for a democratic you know, institution to invite an unelected leader. So the current relationship is really bad. I've never seen it so bad in the last 35 years of my watching this relationship. Mm. You know, uh, it, it appears... Uh to us watching from the outside that China appears to be targeting Australia specifically uh, in this particular way. As far as you can tell, is this the case? And if so, why? I think other countries have also been targeted. I mean, you can talk to people in Sweden or in the Czech Republic. They have faced the wrath of China. Australia is not alone. But certainly, I think Australia is a country which probably in terms of trade is more dependent on its trade with China than most other countries. And this is why I think uh, there is a sense that um, Australia is perhaps more vulnerable than other countries. I mean, at least from Beijing's perspective, if the motive is to try and wean some of the US allies away from that relationship, then it would appear that they have determined that, um, that Australia is more vulnerable than other countries. Now, you've also mentioned that, you know, you've never seen, you know, their relationship reach this sort of a, a low um, before. And uh, as a matter of fact, Australia also says that, you know, its request to hold these meetings with China have been declined. Do you think a reset uh, of relationship is even feasible? <laughs> In the current climate, I can't see uh, a reset. I mean, for example, Australia has demanded that China take down that particular picture posted on Twitter by uh, by the spokesman of the Chinese Ministry of Foreign Affairs. And in fact, uh, Mr. Chow has, instead of taking it down, now pinned that tweet. That's a pinned tweet on his Twitter handle. So clearly there is no intention on the part of China to, to try and, and improve the atmosphere. So I think a reset looks like a very remote possibility, at least at this stage. Dr. Pradi Taneja at the University of Melbourne. Always good speaking with you. Thank you.